make t the subject of the formula s is equal to ut plus a half a t squared so we are required to make t the subject of the formula so if you look at this equation it's normally referred to as equation of linear motion so s is equal to ut plus a half a t squared where s is normally the displacement u is the initial velocity t is the time taken and a is the acceleration to due to gravity so if you look at t t here we have power of one and also power of two it is, seems like a a quadratic equation such that let me rewrite it as a half a t squared plus u t then minus s is equal to zero this can look like a quadratic equation whereby it is of the form of a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero so in our case here t re resembles x t resembles x therefore the co the constant values which is a b and c they are the constant values so if that is the case the first step i can make t the subject of the formula I can use completing square method completing square method so that I make t the subject of the formula so for I to make a, to use completing square method I have to make the coefficient of t squared uh, to be equal to 1 therefore I'll multiply through by so this is the equation I'm talking about I multiply by 2 through so I'll get a t squared plus 2 u t minus 2 s is equal to 0 again I divide through by t a this will be t squared will be equal to 2 u over a t actually this is plus so minus this will be 2 over a s will be equal to 0 so I'll take this value minus 2 minus 2 s over a to the right hand side such that it will be t squared plus 2u over a t will be equal to so there must be a value which should be added to make it a perfect square so it will be equal to when it gets to the right hand side it will be positive 2s over a so whatever must be added to the left hand side to make it a perfect square must also be added to the right hand side and whatever has to be added is normally a half the coefficient it will be a half the coefficient of t squared so a half the coefficient of t squared so a half of 2u over a but everything must be squared so by 2 and by 2 2 so whatever has to be added is now u over a squared also it must be added to the right hand side u over a we square it therefore this now can be written as a perfect square which will be t plus u over a squared is equal to 2s that will be 2s over a plus square this will be u squared over a squared therefore 
this still be t plus u over a squared will be equal to I put this under one denominator so a and a squared LCM is a squared so a squared divided by a this a times 2s will be 2as then plus a squared divided by a squared is 1 times u squared that is u squared we move on this will be t plus u over a the thing is square is equal to and you arrange this to be u squared plus 2as all over a squared so i need to find square root on both sides such that i'll have t plus u over a is equal to plus or minus square root of the same as square root of u squared plus 2as all over the square root of a squared so we end up getting t plus u over a is equals to plus or minus this will be square root of u squared plus 2as all over now we have square root of a squared is a we can take u over a to the right hand side that will be t is equal to minus u over a plus or minus square root of u squared plus 2a is all over a all of it we can put them under one denominator under one denominator so denominator is a a so lcm is a so a divided by a is one times minus u that is minus u plus or minus the other one will be u squared plus 2a s and now we have made u the subject of the formula so that's how we make t the subject of the formula so if you don't want to use this process you can just uh, go directly to since this is what we actually have u t s is equals to u t plus a half a t squared so if you don't want to go all that process then just use the quadratic formula since this we just rewrite it as the form of a half a t squared plus u t minus s is equal to zero which is of the form a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero therefore for quadratic formula whereby a x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so since we are dealing with this equation here therefore in our case now t will resemble t x now resembles t so whereby in our case a is a half a if we correspond with what we have and b will correspond to u and then c will correspond with minus s so that's what we shall substitute into the quadratic formula so minus b is u so minus u then plus or minus square root of b is u so that is u squared minus 4 a is a half a then c is 
minus s all over 2 a is a half a so if we just work it out t will be equal to minus u plus or minus square root of b squared then by 2 1 by 2 2 so and also negative times negative so we shall have plus so we have this will be 2 uh, 4 times a half that is 2 then we have a and then s all over 2 times a half a that will be a so that's how we make the subject t the subject of the formula so thank you so much keep watching and like and also subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much